So we're definitely up against it today, that's for sure. Aren't we puppies? Bloody oath. So yesterday afternoon, I dropped into uh, JCB to pick up what I thought was a little tally handler. Turned out to be a, uh, a 20 odd ton front hand loader, which with that uh, was a little bit oversized too. So effectively eliminated all my nighttime driving last night to uh, get a good hit on uh, getting to Melbourne. So here we are now, we're cruising on in. I'm, I reckon we'll get in, what do you reckon puppies? Probably about one, two o'clock in the Arvo to unload this and then I'm gonna shoot across to, to Laverton. But the bit that, that gives me the anxiety on this is, we're coming into Easter, the Easter long weekend. And uh, happy Easter to everyone and I, I hope everyone stays safe and, and remember the loads of roads are gonna be clogged up. And that's exactly what gives me the anxiety. It's trying to get back across to the other side of town to load a heap of forklifts to take up to, for delivery next Tuesday for MLA. So we're belting on in here, so uh, stay with us and, and we'll see how we go. What do you reckon, puppy? So we got to make it? Do you think we'll make it? Let's wait and see, eh? Make it's a pretty good time at the moment. So only around the, uh, the half past one mark. So my plan of attack is to get this off in 15 minutes flat. It's got eight chains on it, which is clunk, 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 get them all off, get them on the deck, put a strap over it with a tire, put the ramps up, whoosh, head in that direction somewhere. All right, let's do it. Stop wasting time doing videos, Tone. All right, that's done. 15 minutes tops, I reckon that took. I did try to do a bit of a time lapse when I was undoing the chains. Natural, hit the button twice, so nothing ever happened. Anyway, pack this up, let's go. Not this way. So we made it here just in the nick of time. Only one fellow left working here, so otherwise the roller doors would have been shut up and I would have struggled, but here's two of our big girls that we're grabbing here. And then I've got a, I've actually got another one to pick up just down the road as well. And old mate there, Tone as well, great name, is uh is gonna wait around for us there. So we're gonna be happy days. So tell you what, the traffic was bloody terrible getting over here. But um so for those of you going away this weekend for Easter, just try and uh, stay as calm as you can because I've come across from the Monash and across. How you going? That's about all she wrote, eh? What are we looking at? About quarter to five, so we've got 15 minutes to spare. We've got three forklifts on there, so that'll, that'll do us. Don't have much choice in the matter there, so I feel like we're going to finish off the day. I've copped a lot of flack about this one for the last week or so. So we're going to give the big girl a big wash to send us into the long weekend. So, in saying that, Merry, Merry Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. I hope you all have a a fantastic time doing whatever you're doing. And if you are out those roads, try and stay as safe as possible. I've been on them today and it's already a bit of a nightmare. The highways are already clogged up and that type of stuff. So just be prepared that there's gonna be a lot of holdups and try and be as patient as possible. I know it's difficult, but um, 
At the end of the day, if it takes you an extra 10 minutes, half an hour, an hour, so long as you get there safely and can spend a fantastic time with your family, that's all that matters. So, happy Easter, everyone. We'll catch you later. Woo, time to get a truck wash. Yeah.